uh, discuss energy uh, quite a bit this semester, uh, so we should uh, briefly introduce that concept. Now, uh, the reason why we're going to talk about energy, uh, because that any time matter changes, whether it be a physical or chemical change, uh, there's going to be a resulting transfer in energy. Something's going to be gaining energy, something's going to be releasing energy. Uh, and so that's why it's going to be important to us. Uh, energy, if you uh, do a quick uh, Google search or internet search, uh, look it up in a, a dictionary, you're going to find something along the lines of capacity to do work. Uh, we're going to look at it from a slightly different angle, but we should also know that all matter possesses energy. Um, the energy can be in the form of kinetic energy or potential energy, and the sum of those two energies equals the total energy of the system. Now to distinguish or discuss the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy, we're going to look at a classic uh, physics example of a ball rolling down a hill, or perhaps uh, a, a weight on top of a building falling. Now at the top of the building, this 10 kilogram weight has potential energy. And potential energy is any energy that's due to position. Okay, why does this have potential energy? Because it's relative position to Earth. Okay, and gravity gives it, provides it, its uh, potential energy. Uh, if we push this weight off the edge of the building, we know that the energy is not going to disappear, uh, or um, we're not going to destroy that energy. Uh, the energy can only be transferred, which again was said in the law of conservation of energy. That potential energy is transferred to the kinetic energy of this weight, uh, falling down the side of the building. And kinetic energy can uh, roughly be described as energy uh, due to motion or energy in motion. Now when the weight strikes the ground, uh, any excess potential energy that's been not been transferred to kinetic energy can also be transferred uh, via heat, which is the transfer of kinetic energy at the microscopic or molecule level. Uh, heat is kinetic energy of molecules, as we'll uh, discuss in a little bit further. Now this is a very good example of the progress of energy transfer. Um, in typical um, fashion, this is going to come true, or uh, we're going to see this progression uh, quite a bit this semester. Uh, systems going from high potential energy um, to low potential energy. Now we can say that something that has high energy, high potential energy, is at an unstable position, and something that is lower potential energy is more stable. And as we see, um, and as we are going to see, um, often we can think about why a chemical reaction or why a chemical process occurs um, due to this progress uh, or progression from unstable, high potential energy to more stable, lower potential energy. In 1046, General Chemistry 2, we can incorporate the idea of kinetics and entropy, um, and that will sort of um, round out our idea of what why chemistry chemical processes occur. But for the most part, um, we can just think about this for now as an idea from going from unstable, uh, high potential energy to lower potential energy, more stable uh, position. Okay. Uh, we can look at uh, an actual chemical reaction or chemical process change uh, from this uh, standpoint. Um, burning gasoline uh, in a car. Okay, uh, the molecules in the gasoline, primarily octane, um, C8, H18, are going to react with oxygen in the atmosphere. Uh, octane and oxygen are very reactive. Um, molecules, and so we can say that they are currently at a high potential energy, or higher potential energy relative to the molecules in the exhaust, which if this were complete combustion, we know that that would be CO2 and water. Unfortunately, most um, combustion reactions that occur in automobiles are not complete, so there's a lot of different molecules, pollutants in that exhaust, but for right now, we'll just consider um, it carbon dioxide and water. It turns out that carbon dioxide and water molecules are much less reactive uh, than octane and oxygen, and that is a very good um, 
indicator of those molecules being more stable than the more reactive, unstable octane and oxygen. Okay. Now in uh, that change, that chemical change, there can be the transfer of energy. That transfer of energy um, can be harnessed to do work, and hence the original definition of energy, the capacity to do work. Now, uh, where does this potential energy uh, come into play? We know that for there to be a transfer of energy to kinetic energy, this car moving forward, uh, energy has to start out at some potential energy, which we know is due to position. Now, potential energy in chemistry, in chemical terms, um, lies in, potential energy, we'll abbreviate energy E, um, lies in the chemical bonds. Okay, we know that when we're going to react, this is going to be a chemical change, and we're reacting octane, it's a pretty uh, poor looking eight, but anyways, when we're reacting octane with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water, we know we're going to break bonds, we're going to form bonds. Okay, the relative positions of the electrons in those bonds, as we're going to see, uh, gives those molecules potential energy. When we break and form new bonds, we can transfer that potential energy to kinetic energy um, in the form of heat, or transfer or harness that kinetic energy to do work, uh, such as driving this car.